Hello, Miss Samantha. Hello. Thanks for having me. Oh, and thank you for having for coming here. And a big congrats on Wildcat. It's raw, passionate, and smart, and and uplifting. I don't know what to think. Actually, I'm still like it's fresh in my mind. It gave me all the feels. <laughs> you just you just watched it recently, then. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I love it. Love it. So, take us from the very beginning. How uh, how did you or what got you interested in joining the project? Yeah, I guess, um, you know, it kind of happened naturally. We, with Khan, the first Ocelot rescue, um, we started filming him from the very beginning, not with the purpose of it being used for a documentary. It was more for research and to document the process of rewilding him and his success. And then, of course, for us to kind of keep after he had, he had been released. Um, and then we kind of met the filmmakers a bit randomly. They were really excited that we had archival footage and that we filmed regularly just to kind of like keep track of, of what was happening at the center and with the animals. Um, so it just kind of like happened. And, you know, more than anything, I think they kind of just joined and us and started living on site. And it uh, it came into fruition in, in, a, in a different way than one would expect. But all the best. It was, it was know, good. <laughs> you know, that's my question. So, so it's, it's, it's a hybrid then, right? I mean, some of the footage were shot by you guys and some were shot by uh, Trevor and Melissa. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So all the archival footage was shot by us. And then, um, so Harry did a lot of the like cinematography work, um, in addition to filming Keanu. So Keanu's later stages in life, I wasn't even involved in his care at that point. So Harry did all the filming and Trevor and Melissa didn't have contact with Keanu. So it was, it was, they were doing a lot of filming of, you know, us. And, and yeah, I guess that's, you know, primarily what you see. So that makes sense. But, um, but yeah, so they were involved for about a year and a half. And the footage is from a period of like maybe four years. Wow. So, now, Ms. Samantha, how did you get involved with what you're doing now with, with you know, the, the environment conservation and animal, you know, helping our animals? Yeah. Um, I, you know, I think I always knew growing up that I wanted to work with animals in some way. And I also knew that I loved science and research and I wanted to study in one of the most biodiverse places on the earth. And one of those places is the Lower Peruvian Amazon. And so I actually went to the Lower Peruvian Amazon to study wild cats, but in the wild with camera traps. And, you know, it was my master's, it kind of morphed into a PhD. And along the way, you just notice everything that's happening all around you and you wanna make a difference. And for me, that started with local community efforts mostly. And then it morphed into Oja Nueva being the first ever specialized carnivore rescue and rehabilitation center. And it's, you know, been a wild ride. There's lots that's happened since the film, um, but, you know, I think, the need for addressing wildlife trade and trafficking and how many animals come from the wild that that need a good place to go is just it's huge and um so raising a, awareness for those issues is for me the most important thing i totally agree now i see the film as you know i see harry as our wild cat as well do you agree with me on that Ms. samantha <laughs> i've heard i've heard that analogy I've, I've heard it a couple times now my chemistry teacher was the first one to tell me that actually and i was like oh yeah okay <laughs> oh well i'm not alone then <laughs> no Ms. samantha the film is being released on december 21 what do you, what do you hope for viewers to get after watching the film the movie yeah, I hope that people are, you know, connect to it in whatever way makes the most sense to them. You know, I think people connect personally to some of the struggles that, you know, Harry and I portray in our lives and um, can take away from that, hopefully, you know, like learning from it. And um, and then, of course, I want them to care about our efforts at Ojanueva currently. You know, we've rescued 20 plus wild cats since Keanu and you know we're an organization powered by people coming down people donating so I hope that they they care about all the future cons and Keanu's of the world oh well you know what your team has res rescued according to the film has rescued over 120 animals and currently protects 7,000 acres of rain rainforest so yes. wow thank you thank you thank you so much for everything you do Miss Samantha thank you for sure. and if someone if someone wants to donate or help how, how do they do that um, find us on our website, ojanueva.org, or on Instagram, there's a donate link in our bio. Oh, perfect. Thank you so much. And a big congrats on Wildcat again, an eye-opening film about the healing power of love. Thank you. Oh, thank you.